Signature sneakers have taken over the NBA, so much so that ESPN's Nick DiPaola wrote an article on the matter back in May of 2018. At the time of the article, only 19 players had a signature shoe, and still nearly 70% of players league-wide laced up in signatures. Here's a chart from the 2017-2018 season showcasing the most worn signature sneakers of active NBA players. Seems like a lot, but there's one player, and particularly one signature model, that's dominating the 2019-2020 season. This is Topic Tackle, let's go. What's good people, JC3 here, and today I'm looking into the decade-old Nike signature sneaker that is still the most worn signature shoe in the NBA with 102 players lacing it up routinely. It is arguably one of the most innovative basketball shoes of all time and, well, is deserving of this intro. <laughs> The Nike Zoom Kobe 4 Pro Tro is the shoe we're talking about. As Bryant was getting set for retirement in 2016, he and Nike mapped out a five-year plan to continue his sneaker line. Along with the Kobe AD, which would continue to feature the newest technological innovations, Bryant's signature sneaker line dating back to the Zoom Kobe 1 in 2006 would be re-released. And unlike other retros, Bryant wanted his to be updated with under the hood enhancements and be performance retros, hence the term Pro Tro. Next to the Kobe 1, the Kobe 4 is the second signature sneaker to receive the Pro Tro treatment as the first colorway dropped over All-Star Weekend 2019. Now, I would be remiss if I failed to mention the controversy surrounding this Pro Tro release though as Nike promised full-length zoom cushioning for the $175 Pro Tro. Instead, the shoe only had a zoom air unit in the heel and a full-length Phylon midsole. So no upgrade on the cushioning for the Pro Tro version of the Kobe 4, even though the full-length zoom was added to the Kobe 1 Pro Tro that released a year earlier. Not making any sense to you? Me either. Still, the Kobe 4 Pro Tro rebounded thanks to a Mamba Day collab lab with the popular streetwear brand Undefeated and other eye-popping colorways. And NBA players love it, though I suspect that their player editions of the Kobe 4 Pro Tro have full-length zoom because, well, those are the luxuries they get. Still, what makes the Kobe 4 iconic enough to where Anthony Davis would ditch custom Air Max PEs for the decade-old signature? Only a mix of timelessness and innovation, as Davis was just a sophomore in high school when the Kobe 4 first released. Eric Avar, VP of Nike Innovation, said some products are much more radical than others. Some are much more traditional. The 4 was a little in the sweet spot. It was just enough classic, just enough modern, that it has stood the test of time. The radical aspect was the low top design. Unlike Bryant's first three signatures with Nike, he drew inspiration for the Kobe 4 from soccer cleats. The common thought was, especially in basketball, that a player needs high tops to protect them from rolling their ankles, but Bryant was onto something by watching how professional soccer players cut and change directions at high speeds without constant ankle injuries. Avar details that Kobe was adamant about needing a low top. At the time, only only a few NBA players had worn lows, and it was Bryant's Kobe 4 that broke the stigma of wearing low tops in basketball. Now, it also helped that someone who was at the time a three-time champion and coming off an MVP season and first-time Olympic gold medal debuted this shoe. Broken ankles will happen. Broke ankles! But not to you. Now, according to DePaula, more than half the league now laces up lows. 10 of the 16 current signature basketball shoes on the market are also low tops, but none of them is as popular as the Kobe 4 Pro Tro. PJ Tucker commonly switches to the Kobe 4 Pro Tro at halftime, calling it the best hoop shoe ever. Devin Booker routinely laces up custom PEs of the Kobe 4 Pro Tro, and before Luka Doncic signed with Jordan Brand, he regularly laced up the 4s. And Anthony Davis began the Lakers Christmas Day game in the Kobe 5 Pro Tro Chaos that is set to release on January 3rd, making it the next signature to receive the Pro Tro treatment. Still, he ended the game in the Kobe 4 undefeated Bucks colorway. Like Davis, is the Kobe 4 your go-to hoop shoe? Let me know in the comments down below. More Topic Tackle coming soon. Stay solid, people.